Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Boom. This is episode two of Red Dead Redemption, or session. It actually should be like episode seven, but we lost. (laughs) We lost some footage, guys. Yeah, we lost uh, the first seven episodes. So So we're a little far into this game, but you'll have to bear with us. Uh, We apologize. We lost the audio recording, so... Just take our word for it. It was great. It actually was. Uh, we're kind of upset. And you missed a lot, and I am extremely upset. Yeah, we talked about scratching our balls for a long time. Yeah, you missed a little a little snippet of like saddle oil. Yeah, um, and there uh, we we sang um, uh, a song. We saved a dude from some wolves. Yeah, um, and uh, we we. Well, yeah. I, I I really don't remember much of anything that happened in the plot. We were kind of talking a lot. That's true. But anyway, we you you missed our rendition of "Ain't No Mountain High Enough." Yeah, "Ain't No Valley Low." Yeah, whatever the hell that song is called. You know, but you know, if you know, the good Lord deems it so, you might be hearing it again. Yeah, maybe if we feel inspired. We don't want to make it forced. You know, that's a yeah. that's a powerful song. You don't sing that out of that's just very nowhere. True. Yeah, you like you got to have the proper emotion. You got to have the heart. Who the hell is this bald guy? That is his dad. Is it really? No, it's not. I was like, <laughs> he's just like ran into his dad, just chilling. Well, he's like talking to his dad like he doesn't even know him. But yeah, so is that the guy who like is your boss or whatever? Nothing. No, no, this is the cook. Oh, okay. So he's complaining about how we don't have like proper food to cook. Okay. That seems like, I, I don't think I'd complain about that if I was the cook. I'd be like, hey, I don't even have to do shit. There ain't nothing to eat. I can just sit here and fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Wild West. Get on this dick if you want to eat. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Y'all better hop on this dick if you want to eat some of this. Well, I'm sure there was plenty of that going around in the Wild West. Yeah, that's the, that was the wild, wild part. The wild, that was the second wild? That was the second wild in the West. That was with Will Smith, then. Yeah. But yeah, so now I gotta go hunting for some, for some meats. For some meats. Yeah. So this Native American guy's gonna teach me how to use a bow. That's a, that's a black dude. Oh, you're joking. No, it's not. And we'll scare off every animal for miles Oh yeah, I guess it is. Yeah. You're never too old to learn. Uh... Uh, yeah, I guess. yeah. <laughs> like there's no, like, he's definitely not Native American. Also, what kind of a Native American would be named Charles? One that's trying to be white, I guess. Why would they want to do that? They hate us, because we like you know stole their land and killed all their people. Yeah, but we're like a gang, so you know he's kind of like against the law. Stupid mistake. Oh my god. <laughs> so he's like, my name, my name Charles. <laughs> my name's Jeff. My name's De- Jeff. Oh, oh, it's also worth mentioning that we're recording this after Thanksgiving, so if you had a great Thanksgiving, I'm happy for you. Yeah, because we sure didn't. Yeah. Yeah, I had to watch uh, Cameron fuck the turkey for like three hours. He got really high on PCP and just go into town, like would not stop. Yeah, I know, Cameron's a freak. <laughs> <laughs> trying to play it off like it's the other, like, like it's the other fucking camera. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. See, it's great having someone I know that has my name. Yeah. Are you a snow person? Do you like snow? I like snow for about. I like snow like I like my grandparents. About like <laughs> dead. Oh, well, sorry. like three days at a time. Oh, okay. You know, like, it's just like okay, now leave, I get got, out. I got you. I don't want it anymore. Which is, you know, like that's the nice thing about Texas is typically snow does not stick around very long. Um, uh, when I was in Nebraska, it was just like oppressive. Just like no, no, dude. When I was in Utah, the snow did not go away for like the longest freaking time. Yeah, and you're just like fuck off. And I'm not gonna lie, my first, like, winter in Utah, I was, like, mesmerized, because I'd never seen, like, so much snow before, because I'm from Texas. Yeah. And, like, looking at, like, brand f- brand new, like, fresh snow on the ground is really, like, beautiful. Mm-hmm. But you can only stand it for so long. Yeah. Before you are like... So, I it got to, like, this point where I had... 
an eight o'clock class. This was a freshman in college. You don't really get the you you have to do that. I don't know why. Yeah. Um. So I had an eight o'clock class, How can you and I'm just like chilling. You know, I take a shower in the morning because that's how I like to be. Um, so I wake up at like seven, take a shower, go get some breakfast at the like cafeteria, right? Yeah. Well, I would walk from my dorm to the cafeteria. It's not a very long walk. It takes maybe like a minute, two minutes to get there. And my hair would be frozen solid because Dude, it was wet from the yeah, shower. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Like, that's bullshit. Like, I'm having to reach up and crack my fucking hair. Like, it's not okay. I'm not, I don't want it. Ooh, look at you. You got your arrow tip I'm dipped in the snow. No, yeah, no, that would happen to me. Literally, a piece of my hair broke off one time. Because I was, like, running late for a class. Mm -hmm. And what happened was, uh, I gotta use my eagle eye. Your eagle eye. My eagle eye. Um, all right, there we go. But, yeah, no, so I was, like, running late to a class. I had just dropped, hopped out of the shower. Mm -hmm. And I, like, just put on clothes and went. And literally, as I was, by the time I got there, my hair was like frozen solid, complete ice. Yeah. And it, like, I grabbed a piece of my hair and it literally broke off. Yeah, see, I never had that. It was always just like the water outside my hair, like, froze. Um, and I would just like crack the like ice slush off of my head while I sat there and ate my eggs. <laughs> while I sat there and ate my eggs. Yeah. That was the, that was the, so like, the cafeteria at the college I went to was actually pretty good. Um, I've heard tell that not all of them are like that. Oh no, mine was shitty, dude. Yeah, the, but uh, especially for breakfast, because <clears throat> they'd cook your eggs to order. So like, you'd oh. walk up, and you'd be like, can I get scrambled with cheese? And they'd be like, sure. Oh, that's nice. Mine yeah. just had a big, like, bucket of, like, <laughs> scrambled eggs, and they yeah. just like, okay, boom. Yeah, no, so, like, I, but, uh, in the morning, because there was such a high demand for eggs, they'd, like, they'd take your order, right, but they'd put eggs out, so I was in a hurry, because I didn't want to wake up too early for class, so, yeah, I'd, like, um, <clears throat> before, I used to only eat my eggs over hard, um, and then I just, like, out of necessity, I just started eating whatever they had already out there, and then I discovered I liked over easy eggs. Okay. Um, so that's why I eat my eggs over easy now. I got you. Well, like, what's the difference between over easy and over hard? So, uh, over... I've never... I don't know the difference. Eggs. Yeah. So, over hard for a fried egg, that means the yolk is solid yellow. Like a... You know, like a hard-boiled egg? Okay. You know, um, over medium would be kind of more like a ramen-type egg, where the yolk is, like firm uh -huh. and like has but a, still soft yeah and has like a hard outer yellow on it and then over easy is the yolk is not cooked it is runny okay see i can't do any uncooked um egg i yeah. don't know why i was talking to my family about this over thanksgiving mm -hmm. i can't do like i can do like a soft boiled egg like in ramen mm -hmm. okay but I prefer a fully cooked scrambled scrambled egg. Like I don't want it to look like an egg. I don't want any oozy gushiness. You know, you know how I got over that uh, uh, by eating. No, um, uh, the best one of the best ways to eat um, uh, a like over easy egg is you take your fucking hash browns, right? Uh -huh. and you you cut up that egg and it's all gooey and gross. You mix that into the hash browns. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> it's like it just like enhances that like hash brown like like fattiness, like because the eggs just like so rich. The yolk is so rich. I get you. I don't I, know. Maybe I should try it. I just I I don't know the the like I don't know the slimy ooziness kind of gets me. I don't know yeah. why. See, I used to be that way about sushi as well, but then I you know you get you have to try things. True. Get over it. <clears throat> so what we're saying is eat eggs. Yeah. Or don't like you know your life choices. That thing. Okay, I was like, Jesus Christ! It went fucking down. I know, right? That I'm surprised that it stood right back up, and then uh, just stood there like a crazy. I know. Like, why? Oh, you're just gonna, you're just gonna, gotta take it back. 
See, I don't like that. I don't like it. It looks so sad. <laughs> like, I know. It looks like you just like like it, like your dog is sick and you're just trying to run it to the vet. And it's just like. Bleh, bleh, bleh. <sighs> I don't like it. Looks like it's still alive. Like it's just like, hello, dad. Yeah, I would um. Uh. I, I much prefer the uh, Assassin's Creed method where you just butcher it right there. You don't or the, the first game. The first game, you literally just, like, cut it open and you get the meat, like, right there. But, like, for this one, you have to take it back to the... The, the, the cook? The cook dude, yeah. And, like, that's... It's like a mini... So what we're doing right now is, like, still kind of, like, tutorial-ish. Yeah. Ish, where it's, like, this is what you're going to be doing at your campsites. Mm hmm So you have to get food for the... Why is Why? my horse, like, walking, like, it's, <laughs> it has a diaper on? I don't know. I was gonna ask that question. It's just but like, I was like, maybe it's just, like, heavy because of the deer. Do you, do, is, are you just gonna leave that deer? Well, I mean, I already have one on mine. He's got one on his. So, like, that's just, like, just throw, get, it, get off. Maybe I can skin it. Yeah. Right here. Let's see. I see what you can do with that deer. Come on. This is precious meat, bro. Yeah. It won't let me. It won't let me. You do can't anything. do anything with it. No. I was hoping you could like at least throw it into the river so it would just like float down gently out of sight. That would be nice. All right, go. Yeah, give it like yeah, a Viking burial, and then you could shoot flaming arrows at it from a distance. <laughs> Rest in peace, you damn deer. <laughs> You could have fed us good, but instead I just killed you for no reason. <laughs> I don't know why this reminded me, but I finished that book. Oh, yeah? I finished the Elantris book. Yeah. It was really good. I am a big fan of that author. Brandon Sanderson, check him out. Yeah, Brandon Sanderson's <laughs> Elantris. I just finished the audiobook yesterday, actually. Yeah. And it was really good, so if you need a... Uh, you need a, a good recommendation, uh, at least on Audible, the, the narrator's really good. We're not sponsored by Audible. They didn't ask us to say this. I'm just a good consumer. Yeah. I'm spreading the good word. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's really good. Check it out. Brandon Sanderson, or Elantris by Brandon Sanderson. Yeah. His, uh, <clears throat> his body of works is pretty good if you want to go with anything else as well. I can recommend a whole lot of stuff by him, so yeah, well, anything I, that sounds interesting to you, really. Yeah, the thing I got on Audible was the, like, 10, the 10th anniversary edition. Yeah, with, like, the foreword. It has a, it has a foreword, it has a, uh, a, it has a couple deleted scenes, actually. Weird. Like, uh, like, so apparently he deleted a whole character out of the book. Um, and he he puts the like little snippets in the in mm -hmm. the back of the book, and then there's a author's you know like postscript. Yeah, and it's pretty good. I liked it a lot. And then the narrator on uh, Audible is really good too. So check it out, you people. Yeah, if you have Audible. If you have Audible, yeah. If you we we can't give you a free code because like we're still like we're punk ass bitches. We're still punk ass bitches. <laughs> yeah. Um, and if you don't like. He's in the libraries, so like you yeah. could you could actually read. It's true. Yeah, I just thought I'd say it was. Really Did they good. use the same like text boxes as uh, Bloodborne? Oh, maybe I don't know. I haven't played Bloodborne in a while since we last played. I don't know. Throwback Thursday. <laughs> it's a Blood Bar Bloodborne series. Yeah. That's what I, so that's what I did. So did Christopher Robin actually name him Winnie the Pooh or just Winnie and he was just known as the Pooh? I don't know. Like I don't know where the Pooh came from. I, it, it's the whole. It's nonsensical. What is a Pooh? Exactly. Like P O O H. No one knows. Yeah. I the, totally just thought I heard a laughing track, but I think it was the horse. Yeah, it was the horse. <laughs> it sounded like a laugh track at like a, in like a sitcom comedy. Yeah, it show. was the laugh track for the horse. The horse was so mesmerized by your Winnie Pooh comment I know, that right? it, it had to laugh. I'm just curious, um, like, Christopher Robin, you piece of shit, why'd you name a bear Pooh? I mean, the it, it was or whoever... The Pooh. It was... Did, whatever lady wrote that. It was a guy. It was a guy? Yeah. I thought it was a lady who wrote it. No, it was a guy, and he, uh, 
apparently Christopher Robin was actually like pretty like abused when he was a kid because like the he wrote are you sure that the dude who wrote its name was Christopher Robin the kid's name was actually Christopher Robin yeah like that's a real but no the guy who didn't wrote it right it was Christopher Robin but it's based off a real kid named Christopher Robin who played with his stuffed animals mm -hmm. and it was his dad that okay that, it's a real thing. There's like been multiple documentaries about Weird. it. Weird. Come on, get these over to Pearson. But apparently, um, the dad was trying to make hella money off of Christopher Robin. Mm -hmm. So they were using his son. He was using his son as like advertising material, and so they would make the son do interviews and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. After the. Yeah. But is it, so is it the it's based off the author's son? Yeah, oh. the author's son, and the author like was like a a World War One, World War One or World War Two. Uh, yeah, he was a World like War veteran. One. Oh, both. Oh, really? Okay. I just know he was a dick, and his son resented him later in life. At least that's as far as I know, off the top of my head. Weird. <clears throat> Oh, I never got to see the new Winnie the Pooh movie. I'm upset. I wanted to see it. And I wanted to be a warthog when I was a young warthog. I was never a young warthog, and I'm upset about it, okay? <laughs> Don't fucking rub in the fact that you were. Why? Why? Is that a fat joke? No. Rude. I'll see you both later. Oh, my God. When I was a young warthog. Hold skin. triangle to skin the deer. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty graphic. Kinky. This. The skinning is way more- Oh. <laughs>